Oh, hey, gozaimasu. I'm Frank Symes. I'm a musical director and producer and songwriter and a musician. Uh, as far as my musical directing work, I, I'm a musical director for Roger Daltrey as well as The Who. But I wanted to tell you a story today about working with Roger for a few years and um, he had trouble with his voice and I felt so bad for him. His, his voice would go out and um, he thought it was like the end of his career. Um, but lately he's been getting surgery um, every couple of years to uh, fix his throat problem. And he can't speak for a month after he gets the surgery. But then after that month, he sounds like he's 20 years old. But um, several years ago, there was a time when he was going to give it all up. And he has told this on stage live. And so um, I don't think I'm um, revealing something that he wants me to, he wouldn't want me to reveal. But anyway, he called me and said, you know, I don't think I can do this anymore. And um, I thought about it and I go, well, let me think about that. And I thought about it and thought about it. And finally, I composed a letter and told him, well, what are you going to do with your life if you don't sing? You were born to sing and um, you got to sing. He goes, what else can you do? What are you going to do? Go, go to museums, go fishing. Um, I was trying not to be facetious. I'm telling him the truth. And I, I felt uh, ultimately it was a great honor for me to have... Uh, had an effect, a good effect, a positive effect on um, making him feel great about his singing. And um, so he thought about my letter that I had composed um, in which I said, "You, what, what else are you going to do? I said, you, you have to keep singing somehow. Um, you have to keep singing and you, you, you have to go out blazing. That's what you have to do. And um, so he thought about it for a few days and then he came back to me with, I think you're right, Frank. And um, so um, recently I went on a tour with Roger Daltrey and we uh, picked up orchestras along the way and played Tommy with an orchestra and the band. And uh, he would introduce me with, in glowing terms. I was so honored that um, he appreciated, uh, he, um, he referred to the, the time when I convinced him that he should, he, all, all he should do is go back to singing. And, um, and it had a positive effect on his life. And he said that on stage. And so I was highly, highly honored to have uh, been recognized for giving him something positive. So that's my story. And um, he said that almost nightly in uh, places like uh, Cleveland and Detroit and Chicago and elsewhere. Anyway, so that's my story about giving Roger um, uh, some good advice and he accepted it and he appreciated it. So there you go. Um, that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to my uh, site. And if you have any comments about what you'd like to see, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And the links to my other social media are listed below. Thank you. Ciao, mata.